Hello friends, in this quick video I will show you how to partition an external hard drive and format the external hard drive in such a way so that you can use it for Mac or uh, on Windows. So the first thing that we need to do is open the disk utility. So the easiest way is to click on the search icon here and click on and type disk and then click on the disk utility. Now when you load the disk utility tool you would see your hard drive. So I have a 2TB Seagate hard drive attached to my Mac. Um, I would click on the, I would select the hard drive, click on partition and then you would see um, there's no data on my hard drive because I bought it this morning. If you have data on your hard drive, instead of selecting how many partitions you want from the drop down, it's best to click on this plus sign. The difference between the two is if you select two partitions from here or three partitions in my case from here, then what would happen is the moment you click on partition, it would remove all the data or erase, erase all the data and, um, and do the partition. But if you click on the plus sign at the bottom, what it would do is keep the existing data plus create a new partition for you on the available space. Now the reason why I want to do three partitions is because I want to allocate one of these partitions to um, Time Machine. Now Time Machine is an important tool that backs up all your data on your MacBook onto an external hard drive just in case if you had a failure on your MacBook. Uh, the, the only thing that we need to keep in mind is Time Machine only backs up the amount of data that you have on your MacBook. So in no case or in no situation would Time Machine require more space than your internal hard drive is. So in my case my internal hard drive is uh, 320 GB. What I would do is I would name this as uh, Time Machine and I would select the format as Mac because Time Machine would require a Mac format and I would put 320 because that's the space I have on my internal hard drive. The moment I do that you would see there are two different um, partitions which are left. Now we want to create one partition um, so that it can be used on Mac and the other one for Windows just in case if you have more than one computer at home or one machine at home. I have like two or three machines so I would require one Mac and one Windows. Now we've allocated 320 GB to the time machine then we're left with approximately 1680 GB which I would distribute equally so I would make this 840 and name it Mac sorry that would be 0.84 GB TV sorry and the other one would be 0.84 as well and we will name it as Windows so as you can see we have 840 GB of Windows 840 GB of Mac and 320 GB for the time machine so roughly we've uh, managed to you know do an approximation of the entire uh, of the entire space um, now for this Mac, I have the Mac Extended OS selected. For Time Machine, I would require the same Mac OS Extended. But for Windows, we need to make sure that we have MS-DOS FAT format because otherwise Windows won't be able to detect this hard drive. So we select that one for Windows. For Mac, we have the Mac OS and for Time Machine, we have the Mac OS. And all we need to do is click on Apply. And it would say, are you sure you want to partition the disk space? And that's because it, it wants to make sure that you've backed up all your data, blah, blah, blah. And we click on partition. So it would quickly, I think it would take about 40 seconds or so to format the entire hard drive and create the partitions for you. In my case, because there's no data to erase, it should be faster. So we'll just wait, you know, about 10, 20 seconds now um, and it should hopefully be done. In the meantime, what, we, what I can show you is how to set up the time machine. So all you need to do is go to the search bar again and put in time space machine and then open the time machine app. Um, when you open the time machine app, it would say set up or cancel. So we need to set up the time machine for the first time. So what we do is we click on the time machine. It comes up. Normally it would be off, but we turn it on and then we need to select a disk. Now let us quickly check if our disk is ready. As you can see, we have the disks ready now. Um, we can go to Finder to make sure that the disks are ready. So we have a Time Machine, we have a Mac and we have a Windows. Let's go back to the Time Machine. 
Uh, again, we can close this because we've we've finished our partition, so we can close this. On the time machine, click on select select disk, select your time machine. As you can see, it cannot read the uh, Windows one, which is why uh, the time machine cannot uh, you know back up on the Windows one, which is why it says none. And we would say use for backup. We will select the time machine, use for backup. We can also select the different options. Uh, it would say exclude these items from backups. So I would select the Mac and the Windows to be excluded from backup. Um, yep, so all three of these are excluded from backup. It says backup while on battery power, notify after backups are deleted. Uh, well, you can set up your preferences depending on uh, what, what you want them to be like, but I would just leave these three as it is and click on done and we click on um, you know backup now so the moment you do this it's all ready and you can just simply click this and it would start backing up you can actually select uh, a time so it says next backup one or three seconds so basically in the next two minutes it will back start doing the backup but if you remove that it would say today at 2 for 225 so basically the moment it is 225 it would start backing up uh, backing up yeah so I would click on close and from here if you want to start doing the backup you can click on backup now or you can enter the time machine or you can open the time machine preferences so I click on backup now and my backup is now started that's all for today I th I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was uh, it was helpful to you for what you were looking for I'll catch you in the next video cheers